Good morning, families. This is Mr. Felix. I'm the principal at Jackson Primary. I'm here with Tanner Council, one of our students, and we are going to demonstrate for you how you can get into Office 365. You can do this at home. All families in the district have this capability. So we have our district website pulled up, and we want to show you that you can go right to here. Office 365 is at the left of our district website and when I click on it it opens up and asks us to put in a username and password so Tanner is actually going to put in his username and password all students know their password because they use it every day to get lunch and when we get in there we want to show you some of the excellent applications we have for you to be able to use at home with your student and your student can use them on their own too at home So when you get in here, you have the entire Office 365 suite available to you. We want to draw your attention right now to the apps here at the very bottom of the page, where if you want to go in as a parent, you can ask your student to sign into there, and you can see their progress on their accelerated reader goal, for example. Students can also do Study Island, and depending on your level, there might be some different options in there. One of the ones we want you to see right now for K-4, to for example, is the Think Central. When a student comes home and you're not sure how to do a math lesson with them, there are actually tutorial videos that you can click on right here where you can go in and if you don't know what the distributive property is, there will be a good video for you as a parent to learn and the best of all is that you can go right into the student edition. If they've forgotten their homework, you can click in and find the page and you can print off their homework page for them. So there's no more forgetting the homework, no more needing to run back to the school if you have access through a computer this way. So we just wanted to take a moment show you how to get into Office 365 so you could see all the different apps that are available to you and we thought this podcast would be a great way to do that.